on, camera. What's really going on? How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belson. I'm your freaking host, Belson. Today on the Belson Show, we're going to put ourselves in a new Pioneer Apple Play head unit in the old Silverado because Kenwood gave up the ghost it did. Freaking right it did. It's just cock right over, Jim. I did buy it brand new in 2004, so we can't complain, but Pioneer has a better car play, so we're going to do that instead. Freaking right there. So the first thing we have to do is pull up the old head unit in the Chevy Silverado. So what I'll do is I'm gonna move you somewhere. I'm trying to make it fair, Jim. Can you see? Pretty right. First thing we gotta do is move this head unit the hell out of here, Cap. So we'll pull the dash off like so. Like so. Just give her a drop down, easy to do. We'll disconnect all these wires, we'll pull these out. We'll disconnect this plug and we'll disconnect this in do that switch and we can move that right out of the way. That's all there is to that. Figure right there. It'd be less if I didn't put all this shit in. So now we need a seven mil. So when you're doing the head unit in the Chevy Silverado, you gotta make sure you take off the heater control first because it does kind of butt over top of the mount for the radio. I just want to do a big shout out to DC Audio there in Sarnia for uh, giving me the good deal on this head unit. Why wouldn't you, bud? Nothing like a quickie, Captain. Decent. Almost there, Captain. So this head unit has one hell of a lot of friggin' adapters because it was like top of line stuff when I was young. So we'll just disconnect everything for now. And as you can see, there's so many goddamn friggin' wires in here. It's stupid. Holy. Where's that going? Those are USBs. So there you go. There's that big relic and we're gonna need this case. So we'll get that off on the bench. So I'll just set that down there. So, how this works is, oh fuck, I don't remember, Captain. How this works is, this has got to be plugged right into the head unit. And you know what, Jim? I think I'm dickered because they're just long enough. Leave the RCAs on until we get the new head unit because I can see what's going to happen there. I'm going to get them all mixed up and cocked over. So, we'll get everything else out first. Oh, wouldn't I? So we got a rear camera. We'll unplug that because it don't work there. It's not there anymore. So we need that harness. We need all that. We don't need this navigation system that's in here. So we'll pull all this out, which is tucked way up in here somewhere. There it is. Look at the navy boys. They're all peebles. We don't need all this, so we can get that out of there. Which we can disconnect from that. And this not the other friggin' thing. We're gonna take all this tape off. Holy. It's a rat's nest. Oh, everything is just super soft because it's so hot out. Oh, God. There we go. We'll take this off. So we don't need much here, really. Oh, f***ing balls. Holy ball sacks, Captain. I think I might have to get myself a knife. Maybe not. All right, so speaker leads we don't need. Lights we don't need. Why the hell would we need them? So all we're going to need is that wire, this wire. Oh, my God. Look at it sticking out. The ground, that wire, the purple wire, and the red wire. So, some of these wires go to the navigation, so we're going to have to take this off, because I need to get this thing out of here. Okay, so these are the ones, the Navi. Friggin' need some cutters. So, we don't need... That's a nice wire. What the hell does that go to? Power. Navigation out. So now we have antenna, this harness, which we don't need. The green wire, which is my remote for the amplifier. Let's get the other harness and we'll do it as we go here. Oh, it's right here. Holy shit, Rock. The fucking wires go out like ding dong. We get yellow, which goes to yellow, which is a memory. Hey, okay. freaking right, it's a memory. We gotta wait for the soldering gun to heat up, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we should have enough heat here to solder these up. So basically, yellow on the harness is memory. You gotta have a memory, you do. That's what reminds you of all the stations that you had. This gun's still colder than dicks. 40 watts. It's on the highest setting, too. What a piece of shit, Jim. Hot as f out. This stupid thing is still ain't f***ing soldering. Shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna snap. So we're gonna use a torch because I ain't waiting any longer. Eat. Red is your power. Blue with white stripe is your remote line. You catch that? Don't forget to tape them up. Or you can use heat shrink, but as of right now, I do not have any, so that's why I soldered them, and that's why I'm taping them. If I was heat shrinking them, I'd probably give them the, the bills of twist t technique, which I can't show you, or I'd have to kill you. Uh, just take my word for it, it's pretty freaking decent. But we're just gonna solder, give the old wrap around. So we got remote, we got power, and we got memory. So next, we need ground. So we'll look for the ground on the harness. 
which is that phone just doesn't stop yeah. so there's the ground make sure you always put your brake sensor for your screen on ground that way you can get video anytime you friggin want you can okay so always tip the green to the ground so we'll give that a little actually let's see if that heat gun's up the car yet see if our soldering gun's up to the old schnuff Ooh, that's better now we're getting somewhere all right there we go so i'm gonna tape up the old ground of ruski ow careful there we go so that's done so all we got left is purple with white stripe which is reverse gear signal input and we got mute and we got the orange one which i'm gonna have to check so orange with white stripe is light switch trigger so basically what happens is when uh you didn't lights in the dash the deck will dim so that's what that's for so we'll hook that up which is right here so we'll put these two together decent this is a module box, just so you know, because the Silverado needs it. If you have an older vehicle, you don't need that box, but good old Gatlin gave that to me, he did. Fix me right up with that. Thanks, Gatlin. You dirty bastard. So we'll tape this up. Now I don't need none of my speaker lines because I'm running amplifiers in this, so I don't need that shit. So now we got the blue, which is the final, Bubba. I know the one blue one's my remote line. I don't know what this blue one's for, because I don't have a blue one on here that I have to worry about. And there goes the damn lights again. So we don't need the blue, and purple with white stripe goes to green on the controller. There we go. So now this one can just come off, and there's the harness for the old radio. So we're actually getting pretty close we are. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug in the new head unit, and we'll shove the key in and see what's what. So we should be able to just plug her right in and get the juice, Bruce. There we go. Watch this, Jim. Keep an eye. Have an eye, Cap. Look at that. Friggin' right we did. So now we can button her all up and put her together, hook up the RCAs. Oh, it's a friggin' uncle, Captain. We're almost friggin' there. Like I said, I just hope I have enough RCAs. I'm not going to, like, it's on that side now. How'd you make out, Stevie? How'd you make out? Are you sweating? Put them together, goodies. Put them all together. Just, <laughs> just screw them together, Captain. There you go. Decent, so that's done. That's a beeper beeper. Dee dee dee. Hey, this is my, that is for that. No idea what that's for. This I'll tape up because I'm not sure what it was there for. I think it was an extra power for something, but we don't need that, Jim. There we go. So now the only concern I got is my RCAs, Jim. Maybe not long enough. So I'll put all this stuff down here and we'll dig the dash up and see what's going on with the RCAs. See if we can't get any longer inches on her. Now another thing on the Chevy Silverado, this dash piece pops up, which is handier than dicks. I'm pretty sure this is where I put my RCAs. Sure enough, look, there's my RCAs. We had the hill up there. So I have to bring them down and across here for now because they're no good where they are. Frig, no they're not. I don't know if I can get them out of there or not. Yeah, there we are. There's my RCAs, so now we gotta feed them down. Back down here, and down up, up the other way. Turn into a bigger job than what I expected, boys. Too bad. Oh no, we gotta pull this off. Frick, I was hoping I didn't have to do that. So we're gonna have to pull off the side panel to uh, get the RCAs out, because I got them wedged right in there, I do. So what we're gonna need is 10 mil. So we'll slap this off. One, two, pull the panel off. There we go. Put it out of the way, because the tweeter's on it. There we go. Feed them down and out again. And now we gotta go up and in somewhere. Oh my God, where? Up and in, Jim. Right there, I see a hole. I see a friggin' hole, Captain. So we'll bring this up here like so. Actually, she should be able to come up here too. Right there. Got her, yeah. Something happening. that back up for now pull this back and now we gotta bring it around and in here and there we go we just gained some RCAs big time that's how I roll yeah put things back together as you go that way you don't end up with a huge mess right Steve all right why wouldn't I so there we go we're friggin winning so I got everything plugged in everything's wired in and everything's back in the dash 
it's all in the way you hold your tongue, getting all the wires and connections and done doing this and that and the other friggin' thing. But once you get it, you're good to go. So we'll get that one snugged up. We'll put another one in, get it snugged up. Make sure everything's set in the right spot. I had to run the new microphone because the old microphone didn't have the right plug. So I just temporarily ran that for now. There's that. So now, I'm gonna put this on like so. This on like so. And tighten her all up. I tell you, it's gonna be so nice to have Apple Play. When you have an Apple and you have Apple Play, it just brings everything to life and so much better to work. Friggin' right it does. The new Dodge Rams have Apple Play, so anybody that has Apple Play will know what I'm talking about. There we go, and there we go. Let's turn this thing on. And Do not use the unit in standard mode when a speaker system for network mode is connected to this unit. This may cause casual damage to your car speakers and unavailable. So what mode should I pick? Am I in network mode or standard mode? Okay, okay. So there we go. So now I need Bluetooth. No service, Captain. So I need to get my phone. Hold on a minute. Pairing. Pair. Okay. Paired. Decent. Allow. Okay. Well, there you go. I've got the old Apple Play working. All my apps work. Phone's plugged in. Just got to put the dash piece back on and Bob's your uncle. Do some tuning and whatnot and this and that and the other friggin' thing, hey? Eh? So it worked good, it did. Everything worked good, everything works right, so we're good to friggin' go. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video of hooking up the old Pioneer, taking out the old Kenwood. Time to retire the old Kenwood it was. So we got a Pioneer now, and we got CarPlay. Friggin' right we do, so that's decent. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Leave any comments down below or any questions you have for me, because I probably left out a pile of shit, but if you have a question for me, don't be afraid to ask. Why wouldn't you? Other than that, I think that's about it. So, love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.